All right, I'm going to look around for this guy. We'll be right back. Just blowing around the town still. We find an important looking lady. You see an unhappy woman looking like a bitch. She looks at you worriedly. Oh, it's that game hoarder again. She sighs. Why have you returned? Nothing ever changes here. No, do not answer that. What do you want? I am Lapatala. My husband is Hui Lapati. And my cousin is Mokta Port, the former king. Mokta Port is my cousin, rightful king of Natala. Hui Lapati and Zipkatoki have driven him into exile. He wanders the wilderness waiting for his chance to return and reclaim his throne. I've heard talk that he may have taken refuge with this quick way. Alright, we really don't need to talk to you. You see a large, rascus, especially colorful parrot. Yeah, yeah, we have ways of making you talk. Stupid parrot, you can kiss my butt. Please do shut up. You're driving me mad. Squawk, driving me mad. Mad, he calls me mad. Fritz, there's no room in my plans, in my world, for the future, for terror such as yourself. Squawk, I'll never allow you to see my city. Get out. Let the dinosaurs chew your bones. Hello, game home. That's Joe Hahn Spectre's voice. Spectres? The parrot speaks in a different voice. We cannot easily say Zoom Spectre. It is no alien to our tongue, squad. While you remain among Natula, you will be known as Zipakata Squad. Who's that pretty boy? Oh, there is the glowing man of such power. You may not speak with Huitlapakti until you have received, received permission from Zibakraktio, you scabrous dog, he says and then ignores you. I don't know where your stupid ass friend is. Oh, there he is. You see a lean, dark bearded man with shrewd eyes. He speaks to the party in perfect English. Dr. Rafkin, how on earth did you get here? Astonished, Rafkin replies. That to Spectre, I presume. Yes, yes, man, of course I am. Now tell me, how did you get here? Rafkin frowns, obviously put off by Dr. Spectre's anger. Well, I was performing some simple experiments on the back stone. The game hoarder here brought me back. Dr. Spectre grabs you by the shoulders and shakes you. Quick, tell me, do you know how to get back out of this forsaken valley? Uh, no. He slumps back, looking defeated. Then you are useless to me. Useless! What the f do you want? Uh, my former occupation is that of an archaeologist. I am currently the shaman of these Nahadula people. I tell them to shut up and worship me, the king. I also give permission to those who wish to speak to King Huidlapakti. My next occupation. I will be savior of earth, the bringer of peace and paradise. You want permission to speak to Hualapata? He considers it. You must beg me for it. He sighs deeply, enjoying himself. Of course you may have permission, he says expansively. 
Talk to him anytime you wish. He makes some hand signal to one of the guards who nods. Paradise. You want to hear about my plan to bring paradise to the earth? Not long ago in Germany, I came into possession of some curious stones. They were black and cracked like onyx, exposed to a sudden gray heat. But they were not onyx. They were a source of amazing power, hither and to a known form of energy that packed into the stones. As I studied them, I began to have new thoughts and sensations. I knew that if I could command the power of the stones, I could become the most powerful being on earth and bring the wisdom of my fair and partial leadership to all the world. But then, when experiments with the stones trying to tap that power, I was transported into this hole. It was simple matter to cow these primitives with my scientific knowledge and to get rid of the old king and replace him with one more to my liking. By using equipment I've been using to tap the stone's energies, I was able to find more sources of the energy, one of them in the Myrmidex cave. They're rather hostile. I couldn't get to that power source, but I found a second, a greater source elsewhere, underground in the city of Kat. This source of series of my, 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 mighty mystical devices was drawing energy from the power source within the Myrmidex caves. In this energy which powers glow around me, my impenetrable force field! Now that the power is fully my command, I can implement my plan to bring paradise to Earth. I'm going to repair and activate all the automatons in the underground city of Kant. With their aid, I'll retrieve the giant stone, the power source which I know in the caves of the Myrmidex. With that in my possession, I'm sure that I can control the Myrmidex. I'm equally sure that I can create a truly gigantic area of temporal displacement. A gate, if you prefer, and transport the entire underground city of Kato to Washington, D.C. With my invincible army of Myrmidex and Kano automatons, I conquer the United States and then the world. I organize world's populations like the Myrmidex and like with everyone in the place, placidly, mindlessly. Contentedly, contentedly doing the job I assign him. Under my leadership, the world will revert to the peacefulness and in the industry it is capable of. There will be no need for war or weapons. Even freedom, where everyone is happy, freedom becomes an obsolete concept. So what do you think? I like it. Don't bother me with irrelevancies. Alright, well I can see this guy's got issues. He waves his hand in a board, dismissing Jester in turns, his mind to other matters. And don't think about attacking him. You will die. permission to speak with the king, or the, the current chief, I should say, who is just hauling ass. Looks like he's going to Betty by. Dumb paired up. Oh, unfortunately, I can't rest. Wow. 
Just realized something, folks. I've been walking around for about the past half hour looking for the metal head. I already picked it up. It's right here. Duh. So anyways, once you get the metal head, it is time to continue on and look for Fritz. Who is in a cave far, far away. But that's for the next video. See you then.